Okay, Isle of Ember awaits. Ready to set sail? Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I think I am. Then climb aboard. The open sea calls. All right. Off to the open sea with us, then. I'll leave all the navigation to you while I stay down in the engine room. Tap on the feather pin icon to access your navigation chart. Just draw a line and the ship will follow that exact path. Try it out. Okay, I want to see what this is. Beetle ship. Beetle is a salesman who appeared in Wind Waker. Anyway, now we're in the world map. We're moving along this path where we can still alter the camera. And this button makes us hop. Oh, I almost forgot. See the engine on the right? Tap stop to stop and resume course to go. Alright. While at sea, you want to look around the sea. If you want to look around, touch the screen's edge. Sailor up there, touch up, down, left, and right to look in all directions. Can I use the arrow keys? I cannot. I am noticing a little slowdown sound-wise here, but other than that, we're more or less fine. It's unfortunate, but there it is. I just hope the screen's coming through okay. Anyway. Want to board this ship? Yes. Time for booty. Oh, welcome to Beetle's Ship Shop. I deal in anything and everything. Okay, let's see here. You have a blue thing. Good thing it was 500 rupees. Collect these and something good is bound to happen. Just good thing. Okay, a crown. A Rudo crown, 70 rupees. This price is crazy. What about this one? Ooh, ship part, battle wheel, 150 rupees. Now's the time to buy. Huh, the battle wheel, you say? Ah, nah. Bye, please come again. I might come again, we'll see. Okay, now we gotta set the course again. Let's see here. Let's go here first. It's closer. Cannon Island. There it is. That's, uh... Is that a hook? Anyway, we're on an island now. Okay, let's see. Oh, well, we all see who this person is. Hello. Hey, nice to meet ya. And not like I don't want to greet you, but I'm here to deliver your mail. Oh, okay. I have mail. Not talk to your ear off. Yep, the postman lives for special delivery. And your name is... Got it right here. Uh, isn't it Annie? I'm sure I'll be carrying special deliveries for you at some point. So I'd appreciate if you didn't, you know, shoot me with a slingshot or something. Thanks for understanding. I may also need you to sign for deliveries. Thanks. On that note, see you around the sea, sir. And off he goes. Edo's Garage. Welcome to the ship junkyard at Edo's Garage. It's all Master Edo's. I know that Master wants to sell the can he's working on, so come back later if you're interested in getting your hands on one. Okay, so we can't get it now, apparently. But maybe we can do that later. Hey, we gotta get to Isle of Ember. Set sail? Yes. Then get on board. Full steam ahead. Okay, now we're going straight there. No more detours. Uh, let me make a little straighter path there. There we go. We shouldn't have much in the way, but there might be another sea trap. That's an interestingly shaped volcano, I gotta say. Anyway, Isle of Ember. This must be the Isle of Ember that Grandpa is talking about. We're here. Uh... That doesn't sound good. A sterling exam on my helmsmanship. Impressed, Annie? 
What? You didn't even know what the island was. Who sketched our course on a seat chart? Yeah, Annie did. What? You piece of fluff. You just don't appreciate the finer points of sailing. But you get me, right, Annie? Ah, uh, sure, why not? There's a sensible lad, see? Annie gets it. And as captain, I shall assign our little adventure monkey a task. Go find Astrid, Annie. Meanwhile, I'll be waiting here attending to the needs of my fine vessel. What? Staying behind? You're scared, aren't you? Me? Scared? I'm never scared, you simpering little fluttering shrimp. You two go ahead. I'll be breaking my back working on the ship for your sakes. I do like their interactions. He's obviously a coward, but it's funny. Anyway, there's a house right here. Let's just go inside. After I trim their hedge a little. Uh, there's no music and, uh, no one inside. Hmm. Some sort of window here, but I can't seem to do anything with it. That's a little disturbing, I gotta say. Oh, rupee. Okay, there's a way up to this house. Let's see. Fortune teller. Okay, that's pretty plain, but let's look at the other house first, just in case. Uh. Hmm. Concerning? Where'd everybody go? If you're reading my words, it means I have fallen to fate. So look east to pick up my torch and take up my duty. K.O. Oh. Look east to pick up my, the torch and take up my duty. Hmm. Oh, mystery. I wonder what happened on the aisle, Annie. Okay. That's a little spooky. Well, what was that? Anyway, this should be the fortune teller, apparently. Okay, there's actual music, and there is a fortune telling ball here, but... No actual fortune teller. Whoa, what? Why is there a basement booby trapped? Okay, these enemies actually take two hits. That's something. Not too much of an issue still, but... There we go. <clears throat> Still, she booby-trapped her basement. I am concerned. Oh? Hang on, Annie. Yes, the door. I feel a presence on the other side of this door. Oop. Hey, I heard footsteps behind there. But this door looks pretty locked to me. What should we do? Hey, let's call out. Uh. Oh, no. Uh. Uh. Um. Oh no. Mark the location of the island's three torches. Okay, I don't know that, but uh, call something out. Um, I didn't, I forgot this part. Give me one moment, please. Okay, let's see what happens. Hey, back there. Who, who's there? Someone hurt you, you did it. Yes, I pushed a button. Are the monsters gone? Get me out of here. It's safe out there. Who are you? The Who are you? The fortune teller Astrid? Yes, that's right. My name is Astrid. I was sealed in here to hide from monsters. I didn't foresee one thing. I can't open a door from the inside. Oh, I don't know who you are, but would you open it? Sure. Thank you, and good luck, because this will be tricky. Do you see the map hanging beside the door? That map is somehow the key to opening the... Well, you, you close it on yourself and you don't know how to... Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, my only assistant, Kayo, knows the secret behind it. Okay, guys, so we need to find Kayo to learn the secrets. Hold on, Astrid. We'll get you out of there as soon as possible. Okay. Mark the locations of our island's three torches. Hmm. I'm not seeing any torches on there, unfortunately. She built her panic room backwards. Yeah, exactly. 
Okay, so... Uh, oh, this one's, uh... That's an electric Chuyu. I actually can't do anything except, uh... Okay, I need to wait for it to stop sparking before I can actually hit it. <clears throat> there we go. But, oh, well, you're new. I think those are called Tektites? Oh, hey, there's a torch. Okay, so there's one. I'll mark it. When I was a child, I played this game. I got stuck at one point. I did this puzzle where I was at the restaurant with my mom. So it was very odd when I yelled in public. I imagine so. Okay, I marked it. Bird. No, my money. Okay, this place is a lot more dangerous for sure. Still not super duper dangerous, but dangerous. Oh hey, a skeleton. A fallen adventurer. Look, Annie. Yes, I can see the bones. Oh, uh, hi. Brute force will get you nowhere. Ah, it's a ghost. Get him, Annie. Ah, wait, give me some warning before you come at me. I must look really bad, but I swear I'm not a bad ghost. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really look like an evil ghost. My name is Kayo. I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. Oh, just look at what's oh just look at what's become of you, poor thing. If you believe in fates, then it's not so bad. I do feel much lighter. Of graver concern knows what's happened to Astrid. It haunts me. We just saw her. She has to open a door and locks her in. What? So Miss Astrid's alright? Well then please open a door for me. I'll tell you the secrets. The three torches on this island are key to understanding. Keep that in mind, you may be able to open the door. One torch is right here. Okay. Make a moat in your map lest you forget. Okay, that's one. Please take care of Astrid. And he fades away. I think since we put his mind to ease, he's able to pass on. So that's nice, I guess. I think there may have been one near the ship, actually. No, but that's just a chest. Hello, chest. Aw, oh, I almost made it. I bet I can. No, no, apparently not. I can't make it. Nope. Okay, I'll, I'll just go back to looking then. But hey, at least I know where two of them are. Wait, does this count? Is it this house? That might count. Okay, let's let's try that. That's a little mean having it indoors though. I mean, yes, I saw it earlier, but jeez. Oh, that was it. You touched the right places. <laughs> Yes, I touched the right places and the door just opened up for me. Hello. Thank you for opening a door. I am finally free to go outside again. You bested the monsters who guarded me, so you are no ordinary travelers. May I ask your names? Annie, it invokes a kindness and strength in the same breath. Lovely name. Thank you. Thank you. Now tell me, what brought you to our island? A ship. <laughs> 
<laughs> Annie's looking for his friend who was taken by the ghost ship. Asher, we're hoping he might have some insights. Is that so? The ghost ship came to our island a few days ago. That is why I've hidden away to escape its reach. Speaking of which, I haven't seen Kayo since then. Uh, about that, well, Kayo, he's... I see. I sensed it. Just as I foresaw, but it was destiny. Well, life has little use for mourning, so Kayo thought. Shall I, shall, shall I tell your fortune? Oh, yes, please. Please wait for me upstairs. If any of the heirs are, any heirs are with you, please make no longer to my chambers. Assemble yourselves and I will join you after I make preparations. Confound it. You'd think of someone who sees the future beyond time. You just came in the room. Where is Asher? Let's get our fortunes told and be done with it. Greetings. Now if everyone is here, we can begin. Open my eyes to the future. A sinister darkness. The mighty sea and the voice of sacred light. I see it. I shall speak. Listen with your hearts. If you really want to find a ghost ship, Annie, you must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself. Knowing that, do you still want to rescue Tetra? Yes. Also, note that she knew her name, so she's definitely doing some actual fortune telling here. Very nice. The honesty in your eyes is crystal clear. Now make haste to the Temple of Fire on the summit of this island. There you must defeat the power of darkness that haunts this place. You will then find what you need to open the path that lies ahead of you. You have it within you to alter our doomed course of events, Annie. But the light that you seek your help is growing faint. Please hurry. Power of darkness, huh? Hey, kid. I, uh, just remember I gotta polish the, uh, ship's rudder. Later, kid. <laughs> he just looks so terrified when he leaves. Sheesh, what's up with Limeback? Oh, let's just let him be and hurry to the temple. That reminds me. I can save, and I should. Anyway, since I now have permission to enter the temple, I should be able to get up there without any issues. Okay, we can reach the Temple of Fire at the peak through here. Come on, tap the door. Tap. Oh. Well, I don't need to deal with you, but whoa! Okay. Huh, it screws up your map for a few seconds. That's interesting. Incidentally, uh, they do seem to pass their charge onto you when they hit you, so that does make them weak for a second. Whoa! Damn it. Dang tech tikes. Okay, what's over here? Anything? What? Oh! Oh no, we got too close. The, the volcano is angry. Look, the volcano is erupting. Watch for falling rocks. I think if it's actually erupting, we'd have worse issues. That must be the temple, but the entrance is sealed. Oh yeah, you gotta blow on the candles. But before that... Got a red rupee. Nice. Blow out the flames to illuminate the path ahead. How do I, uh... And now... Oh! It worked! It worked! It worked! Yes! Good! Finally! Oh, thank goodness! 
Ugh, that took forever. Now we can hear a temple. We did it. Yes, we did do it. Let's go face up to that power of darkness. Whatever it is cannot possibly be as bad as the power of those flames. Okay, Temple of Fire. Ugh, so hot. Oh no, there are flames everywhere. You better not touch them. Don't go and burn yourself. And she just said... Oh, what's this? I'll make haste to make note of the one safe path. Okay, I'll put that on my map. Wait. No, I did it wrong. Okay. Over that one and that one. But then it loops down and... Well, it's something like that. That's close anyway. My artistic skills are a bit lacking in terms of straight lines, but... Okay. Oh, bats. That's not so bad. I'm expecting like a guy with a sword or something. I don't know. Okay, got a key. That should take me in there, and then my new direction should help me. Probably. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Oh! Ah! Okay, um, alright. Okay, got a red rupee. That's nice. Okay. Should be... Uh, <gasps> They're kind of going easy on me on this one, but still. Alright, we need to do a spin dash here, I'm sure. No. There we go. Okay, that opened that thing down there so we can get to the second floor. These trapdoors are a little overzealous, honestly. They really shouldn't be opening before I even fall in them. But regardless, we solved that puzzle. Oh no. Okay, now we have colored boxes. Back, sorry I was playing Gundam Evo. That's fine, Lucky. You missed a lot of tedium, I'll say. That's a nice way of putting it. Tedium. Basically, I need to um, do some microphone-related things in the game in order to progress, and I could not do them for reasons. But I managed to get that sorted out. So, missing that, nothing was lost. Ah, another trap. What? You're new, greens. Green slimes. But not chew yous, apparently. It's something different. Ah, get them off, get them off! Not very dangerous, but they could be in another situation for sure. 
I wonder if I could just roll and knock them off that way. Either way. I got a thing. Ooh, boomerang. Yes. A boomerang. Know how to throw it? First tap the eye of my con to equip the boomerang. Then just draw a line that'll follow that flight path, straight or curvy. Give it a try. Throw it out in this room and get the hang of it. Alright, sounds cool. How do I... Yes. Ah, just like I remember. I'll need to use a stylus for that for sure, but that's fine. That's no big deal. Over 20 games, only 3 wins? Ah. Uh, well, you know, you get the hang of it eventually. Ah, there's a key rat. A crat. Uh, is this torch shooting at me? It appears to be shooting at me. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, never mind. That's not gonna work. Alright, fine, fine. Time is of the essence, it seems. Ah, never mind. Okay, down we go. Boing boing, there are no treasure chests on this floor, I see. Oh, okay, that means I can't Wait. Wait. I think I get it. Perfect. But yeah, the boomerang's nice. Granted, the dungeon is kind of tailored for it, but still. Okay, how did that miss? The slime dudes are cute. Yes, they are a little cute. The chew yous are cute. The regular slime's less cute, but they're still kind of cute. Okay, that opened a way back. Ah, bones. Or rather, I think they're called bubbles. Very weird name. Okay, that's one. There we go. Okay, that was a little annoying, but we managed to get through it. And that opened a way forward, it seems.